miss anything different? Oh my god. Oh my god, is that blood in your eyebrow? Yeah. Oh my god, so Okay, so I'm going to make breakfast. Well, actually, first I'm going to have water. But, okay, where do we even start? So yesterday, I've had like this hip injury in like the very bottom of my spine since I was 16. So it's been like over 10 years. When I'm really, really, really stressed, sometimes it flares up, but I've never had it flare up to the point of like when I initially destroyed this. It's like right, right here. So much pain. And I've never had it feel the way it did when I was 16 until yesterday. Yesterday, babes. I've only ever had it, yeah, flare up when in super, super stressful situations, like super, like my nervous system has to be on fire and then like old injuries start to resurface. Like last time it was my lung, but now it's my hip. It's bad right now. It's so fucking bad. And I've been doing a lot of yoga, but I'm in a lot of fucking pain. <sighs> anyway. I have these things, also when I get super stressed, I get these things called night terrors. And I used to, I started getting them when I was three. Um, that's when they were the worst. And then they've been okay for the most part. And they have like little flare ups here and there. I remember it got bad again when I ended things with my last relationship four years ago, three years ago. And I kept having night terrors that he was in my apartment coming to kill me because like he tried to kill me a couple times. And then, yeah, I kept, like, waking up in, like, halfway... I'd, like, half wake up in these night terrors. And, like, I, I would see him in the doorway. So, anyway, obviously, being home is not the best. And the hip thing happened. And then I had a night terror and I got up. And I made it to the... I remember, yeah, I always think there's spiders in the room. Like, I remember that's the original night, the OG night terror from 2000. 2000. Shout out the year 2000. In this night terror, I stood up too quickly, and the pain from my hip made me pass out on my bathroom floor. And my mom found me in a pool of blood on the floor last night. It's like a fucking pool of blood the size of my head. So, so a little bit of blood in there. Kind of cute, kind of demure, kind of mindful. I didn't know I didn't take myself to the hospital because I don't have medical coverage here in Ontario. I only have it in Quebec. So no, I'm not paying for that out of pocket. No, I'm literally fine. What do you mean? If I die, I will take responsibility. This is me taking responsibility. I die, okay. That's my fault. At least I saved money. <laughs> she was asleep the whole time right there. She's like, bitch, get your dramatic ass up. I don't care. I hit that tile so hard. Uh, oh my God. My hip hurts. Ah! Genuinely, every time I sit down here, like, you know, I've manically spent money. Went out this morning with a girlfriend and I got some coffee. And then I was like, hey, I know it's still summer and I am going to Greece and I'm in denial about it turning into fall because I'm going to Greece. But does it make me the drama if I want to go to HomeSense and see what they have for fall things? Am I the problem? No. I'm not. We're gonna be really, really quiet about this, but I did buy some fall things. Also, the uh, my friend that I went and got coffee with, she's the one that makes the posters I have in my apartment, and she also started making hand making bags. And I've asked her to make me like a little handbag for Greece because I don't want to bring my Louis, and I just think it'd be super cute because she makes these like patchwork shoulder bags. And then all my liquids are gonna go in here. So, so cute, so excited about that. Um, and then we went to HomeSense and I, well, I'm gonna go see my dog that 
has been taken in by a very, very, very lovely family. And I got her some Halloween Frenchie tea towels. That's, see, I'm not completely selfish because I got this for somebody else. So that means I'm a good person and I should have spent all that money. If I spend less than $100 in a store, that means I save money. I'm not wrong. And then I also got these, I got two, but I gave one to my mom, like these mini loaf tins. And they're like the original Winnie the Pooh storybook. Not drawings, pictures. My room was Winnie the Pooh growing up. And like the Winnie the Pooh, like the, the OG Winnie the Pooh. So that's, I needed, I needed that. And then I got this candle, not because I liked the smell, but because I want this pot to put crystals in. And last of the fall things, I got this bunting for my fireplace. It had little candy corns and ghosts. And then obviously, obviously, I got books. One, this is um, the From Blood and Ash prequel. Because From Blood and Ash fucking sucks by JLA, sorry. But I do love the uh, Flesh and Fire series, and this is the last book in the series. And it is Greek mythology, so finally got that. And I wanted to get Goldfinch because that is something, because I read Secret History last fall, and that changed my life. And I need to read Goldfinch now. But I just finally saw this book for $20, and it's constantly in fucking hardcover. So I've never gotten it because it's been like $35. So I finally got this one for 20 and the last book I got was just this pocket book because it's giving a secret history vibes. Not the best rating on Goodreads, only 3.6 I think, but it's about a murder in Cambridge University. Like very okay, Edward Fosca is a murderer of this. Mariana is certain that Fosca is untouchable, a handsome charismatic Greek tragedy professor at Cambridge University. High hopes, but I feel like maybe it's like the Walmart version of A Secret History. How much money did I spend? 150 bucks? No, 130. That's like literally, if you think about it, I'm actually making money. I was like, <laughs> that was me actually who did that, just so you know. <laughs> it was Michaela actually. <laughs> Shut Sweet up! Say we'll get out of this town. We'll last forever. Say it's undone. Oh my. I said, don't flash photography, please. Please. Some private. Nope. Get away from them. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Bend over. 
Yeah! <laughs> Whip it out! <laughs> Terrified of spiders do it. Oh. 